Got a 360 cubic inch plant, built in 75. So it's got a catalytic converter. Not a problem, because leaded gas has been phased out. This is the Illinois Royal Monaco. This car came just over on the Missouri side of the border, but had an Illinois title. So I thought that was kind of a unique piece of continuity with the movie. And this one, probably really one of the nicest ones of the bunch. You can see underneath the tree grime, it actually had a real nice base coat, clear coat paint job. It's got perfect vinyl top that a lot of my other Cadillacs and Chryslers and stuff would probably cry to have one that nice, but it's all getting sanded down, vinyl top getting stripped off. It's going to make the transformation they only only go one way to become Bluesmobiles. This one's got 92,000 original miles. Ran good. This was kind of an ideal car to start with for a Bluesmobile because it's got the butterscotch tan interior. It's got the screen correct steering wheel. Door panel tops are not correct, but that's one thing that wouldn't be terribly hard to remedy. Stitch up a pleated set of panels. Um, it is actually 74 build date, which is kind of cool. Just too bad they ordered a Royal because you could still get the correct front end for the 74 style in 75. Grill was changed a little bit, but the average person on a Bluesmobile isn't really going to be able to tell the difference. Off goes the side trim. Old plastic clips are pretty brittle. Sometimes you can save them, sometimes you can't. Not this time. Don't need them anyway. And now she's naked on the sides. Got the royal nose removed. The reasonable amount of aggravation. As complicated as it looks, it's about like taking apart a Korean car. There's tons of fasteners and a lot of them are hard to get to just another step in the transformation naturally my dad will be curious why there's another dismantled car laying around in pieces at the place with maybe dubious chances of going back together but this time I'm going to prove him wrong there's a 74 wagon Got this car out of Austin, Texas, ran and drove, had a title, rust-free car, really a decent car, nothing wrong with it, just not a sedan, and it had the correct 74 front clip that I needed, so I bought it. Got this one probably seven, eight years ago, maybe. I believe they said the motor was a 400. Some people like these and some people don't. I guess like any other mechanical thing, there's good ones and bad ones. Good experiences and bad experiences. I got the grill laying up on the dash. Hood letters are missing, which I don't think is a big deal because the original Bluesmobile didn't have hood letters either. Or in this case, front header panel letters. 74 Monaco. 75 standard Monaco front clip. Pretty hard parts to find. Gotta have them if you're building a Bluesmobile. So I'm gonna be pulling it apart.
All the front end parts been removed from the station wagon and they're ready to go on the sedan. So there's the front fenders mocked on the car. Spring comes, we'll pull them back off and we'll spot them in black. Scuff down the tail of the car, paint it black, strip the vinyl top, and the transformation will begin. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. More great things coming. We'll have a lot of stuff to show you guys once we get the shop up and going and cleaned out and all organized, set up with the tools, ready to go. See ya.